What's up my fellow geeks and nerds? It is Backwards Compatible Dad here and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different uh, than I've done before and uh, it's actually a first for me. This will be my first action figure review, yes. Before we get to that I will say though that eventually I am going to have a better background behind me other than just my chair and uh, my Swedish flag. Uh, I'm not located in Sweden but uh, anyway uh, I just have that up because I love their metal music so I hang one in my apartment. But anyway, eventually I am going to have a shelf behind me with uh, all my crap, uh, all my goodies or my video game goodies, toy goodies, nerd goodies, whatever you want to call them. They will be behind me on a shelf eventually when I can build that or whatever. And the kind of things I will have on that are like the one thing I am going to be reviewing today, which is, aha, they're here, yes. Snyder Cut action figures, and here we have Steppenwolf. I got lucky, I really got lucky finding this thing at GameStop. Now this is not going to be an unboxing, so the next thing you'll see is this out of the box. But uh, I just wanted to show you what it looked like in the box and the back. But yes, let's get into this and look at this thing a little bit closer and examine it. It looks great from what I can tell, but let's get it out and take a look. Okay, guys, uh, first of all, uh, here we have Steppenwolf out of the box and uh, really had no trouble getting him out of the box and included in the box, which I'm going to keep in there and not take those out. Uh, we have a little stand attached to the back wall of that and a collector card also attached to the back and i really don't want to take those out because for now i'm probably going to store him in this although i have him out right now and let me tell you though uh before i started recording this uh, i had massive issues getting him to stand up without the stand i have not tried the stand but looking at that small stand i really don't understand how it can help him stand any better uh even if that peg helps a little bit on there because it's so small uh, i really don't see how this can get him to stand any better now let me first starting off i have to give this action figure high points for detail and beauty it is sculpted beautifully uh, but once I pick it up here to zoom in a little bit more, I'm probably not going to be able to get it to stand back up as you see it now. Because yes, that is one of the biggest issues which you'll see here in a second. In fact, I have not got the axe in his hand yet. And because that is hard to put in there. And even if I put it in his hand, I'm pretty sure he will not be able to stand after I put that in his hand. Because the weight of this will pull the whole thing forward and make him fall. So here we go. I'm going to pick him up and show you a little bit more detail. Okay. First of all, we have a great detail on this face here. Look at this. I mean, it looks like the movie. This is absolutely gorgeous work. You know, a pretty even over the face, pretty even paint job. But I love the detail in this. And all the way down, look at this, the hands. Yeah, just just gorgeous work and the feet. Look at the claws on there. Now uh, I've kept him in the same. His the back, you know. Here's the back. But the yes, uh, the McFarland toys, <laughs> they have done a great job on this. I love the detail in this. Uh, and the axe alone. Here's the detail on that. But let's see if we can get him to stand. Uh, and after a couple of more times, eh, probably not. Yeah. And he has a tendency to do the splits like that very easily. Hmm. Will he stand? Probably not. Okay. Voila. I was able to get him stand. Uh, yeah. I was able to get him to stand with the axe in hand. But uh, it was a trick and took some doing. And I did get the axe in his hand. But... It did take some doing to get that, uh, yeah, to get that those fingers pulled back, and then I had to slide it down. And uh, I was a little scared of breaking those off, but they, thankfully, they are intact and tight enough that it went on down smoothly, and they did not break. 
Uh, so hopefully, I think all of this plastic is pretty durable. Uh, but yes, I did get it to stand. If I turn it, will he continue to stand? No, of course not. I see, as soon as I touch it, uh, we have these these ankles. The whole the whole figure in itself is very very limber. I mean, the, that's the first thing I noticed when it came out of the box. So, yeah, a, a really I would say an A plus for this figure on sculpting and just the overall job on the art. But yeah, when we're talking about these action points, okay, let, let's look here a little bit further. We have some bending here. It's hard to bend these these knees uh yeah and that bends back like that so yeah he's got some you know very very limber especially with these legs almost too much uh yeah the sockets look a little bit uh yeah thin in there no wonder um so yeah they could have done better on that i think um and this chest piece here is you can bend this back and forth yeah uh his arms pretty loose pretty loose they stay up but yet when you let go i mean you, yeah see it just kind of falls back that way so everything and you know i think this is typical of some other mcfarland toys i've seen in the past um but yeah uh the arms don't go out they go up and down like this and the how easily does the head turn the head turns pretty it turns easily but it's still tight it's not extremely loose um but i don't want to turn it too much <laughs> and, and again yeah doing the splits here very easily uh, i notice so yeah um this is one of the things with mcfarland toys and uh yeah just very limber in the action points uh but very very hard to stand as you can tell so i don't know as far as this Am I going to be able to get it to stand? Barely. He's always wanting to fall over. Always. Either way, really. See, see, when I let go, yeah, this gives you an idea. So, if you're wanting to display this figure, <laughs> uh, I mean, again, I haven't tried the actual stand, but it looks too small to me. Um, I, You might just need to lean it on the back side of your shelf in order to get that to work. Okay, so now I'm going to measure... Uh, I've got him standing again. Uh, that was a trick, as always. <laughs> but let's see. And he looks like he's pretty much right at... Uh, there's some shine on this ruler here. And there he goes. Of course, like I said, uh, barely touching him. There's a way to get those feet. But yeah, he stands approximately 9 inches tall. As we can see there. Yeah. Maybe just... Well, no, no, no. Uh, wow. He is actually looking more like straight on now, nine and a half, nine and a half tall, uh, based on this stance of the legs. Now, I mean, you know, uh, and this uh, apparently is one of the few stance of those legs that works to stand him up. But yeah, we are looking uh, pretty much at nine and a half tall there. So that's what we're looking at in terms of a measurement. He is a giant in the movie, and he is a giant uh, compared to the other action figures that uh, come with this. And I think, I think, yeah, all the others are in proportion with him. So, um, yeah, he would definitely stand over them just like he did in the movie. So, what overall grade could I give this figure? Uh, it's great. Uh, I love the detail. I love the art and the, the time they spent on the sculpt of this. But, man... I'll give that an A, but man, as far as the uh, technical aspects of the figure, uh, you know, I think it's just some of the action points and how it was put together mainly that it uh, gives it the worst grade, I would think, because it's so hard to stand up. And uh, I understand that, you know, with certain when you're sculpting things, you only are <laughs> there's only so much you can do with those. But um you know, I mean, we don't, we have, you know, we have some turning here with the hands and that kind of thing, and that's good. And, um, but I'm not really seeing too much more limberness anywhere else. But yeah, the main problem is the legs. And again, as you can tell by this crotch here, yeah, uh, this pretty cheap works in there. So, um, it just, um, very, a very loose figure, very loose, um, 
but it seems like they could have maybe made it a little bit tighter. But then I understand, you know, and there I got him to stand again pretty easily, but his arm's out. Maybe the arm, this arm out here uh, being held out helped a little bit more. But yes, I to average out this figure, I think I need to give it a solid, uh, let me just give it a solid, I'll, I'll say a B plus. Maybe that's, I don't think that's too harsh um, because uh, the, the greatest thing of this figure is the sculpting job. I think it looks great. The color looks great. The detail is great. But yeah, the technical aspects of it, uh, action points and everything, uh, they're just very loose and limber, very hard to stand. And it, it doesn't feel, it feels like it needs to be tighter, but then I understand maybe, you know, uh, due, the na due, the, due the nature of this type of action figure, maybe that was a little bit hard to accomplish. Um, so yeah, uh, if you're looking at the structure of this, uh, maybe leaning more towards a C for that grade by itself, but the overall figure, uh, I'll say a B plus. Uh, but the only thing that is taking it down is the action points that are very loose. And man, as soon as I touch this, uh, yeah, <laughs> those legs just go. They're, they're, they're hard to get standing. But again, great detail work. I do love this figure, and I am going to display this figure. I do love it. Um, but again, uh, it'll take some doing to get him to stand right on the shelf. So I do love this action figure of Steppenwolf from the Zack Snyder uh, Snyder Cut release of the Justice League, and uh, I will be displaying it. Uh, and if you love this video, if you like this video, hit like. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And let me know what you think in the comments section. Uh, do you have this figure? What do you think of it if you do have it? Um, and uh, yes, this is Backwards Compatible Dad, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll plan to do more action figure reviews in the future, but uh, yes, I do love my Steppenwolf, uh, and I will be putting him on a shelf soon to display him. Let's hope he stands, though. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this has been Backwards Compatible Dad, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.